That concludes our report. Um, I didn't know if Mr. Heath was happy to to add anything from there. Um, the only thing I wanted to add is that, uh, you know, the Smart Balance test is coming our way next year, and all of the principals did put in uh, a nomination to be um, accepted to pilot that test yet this spring, and we have two winners, as I call them, Mrs. Marple and Mrs. Lily, who are going to um, uh, have some grade levels, uh, I believe it's eighth grade at the eighth grade math and um, third grade math. And so we'll have an opportunity to A, ensure that the technology works, and B, we'll get a little bit of a viewing of the test prior to, so we can see how well our, we won't get information as far as how well our students um, do take in the test, but we will get that, you know, anecdotal feedback from the students and watching them take it to give us an idea of how well um, they're prepared and how well they're prepared with the technology also. So. And uh, we're just set to do our migration and upgrade on our uh, infrastructure, planning it for the 23rd. Um, everybody's been notified that everything will be down and um, upgrade will happen then. Assuming everything arrives, we have parts of parts of the project here. We're still waiting on some of the server and some of those pieces yet. So, um, so with that, that's slated and ready to go. Um, and then also, um, Sarah Shapley from my department went with some of, some of her teacher colleagues to the Slate conference, and she, she was very excited about some of the things that she's she learned at the conference, and uh, is ready to bring back and share with with the teachers, specifically with the some of the iPad uh, deployment that we're doing. So she was really excited about that, and I'm sure the principals are going to share some of that as well. So, thank you. I'll put the I'll put these names in the in the Friday note, but I just wanted to uh, publicly acknowledge there's a lot of. Um, find teachers who are stepping up to be educator effectiveness coaches in the building level. So we were, we had Brian Singer, uh, Brad Singer, sorry, uh, Brian Shu and Sarah Shepke that were working in that area. And we uh, are prepping to add to that team and we'll be doing some training. Sarah Shepke and I will be doing some training with um, many additions to the team on uh, January 10th so that uh, teachers will be able to support teachers. So at Fox River, we have Brian Shu and then Rachel Workman is going to assist with the special area teachers. At um, um, Trailside, we have Brad Singer. And at Woodfield, we have Lindsay Wanasek. And we also have Kathy Gordon, who's going to assist with special education, who is at uh, Shirley's building. And then at Evergreen, we have uh, Rana Fries, who will also assist the math interventionists, as well as the Evergreen staff, and Jackie who will assist uh, the reading interventionist plus the Evergreen staff. I think I caught everybody there. So that's uh, just becoming a real nice cohort of people that will support each other as teachers in the buildings. I just had one question going back to, um, I'm not sure what practice or what would happen, but um, reviewing policy 323 of the special observance and patriotic observances, um, the wording that we have under Patriot Day for September 11th, um, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with that. So, so I don't know if we can discuss that now or how we proceed with that. We should go back to committee. Okay. Because it came from, um, it came from a policy of PNC. It came from PNC, so okay. I can just go back to like committee. Okay. And then you'll have some proposed language adjustment. Okay. We'll vote on that. Thank you for bringing that up.